Good afternoon. This is Dave Jones with Storm Center Communications and Geo Collaborate. It's just after four o'clock East Coast time uh, here on November 3rd, Sunday. And the National Hurricane Center has initiated advisories on potential tropical cyclone 18. It formed uh, most recently as the National uh, or the Hurricane Hunter aircraft had been flying through taking measurements from the U.S. Air Force Reserve, and they did find winds and a closed circulation, winds of about uh, 30 uh, miles per hour or 35 miles per hour, that is, uh, with this uh, potential tropical cyclone. I might as well call it a tropical cyclone. I mean, it's going to be a tropical storm uh, soon in the next 12 hours or so. National Hurricane Center has that in their official forecast and you can see that closed circulation or that rotation about this low pressure system uh, with thunderstorms that are forming. I have the uh, other channel from the GOES satellite, enhanced channel, sea surface temperatures uh, showing through the clouds and that indeed is warm enough. Temperatures 82 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit in the Caribbean. That's plenty warm uh, to form a tropical cyclone. You only need temperatures of 79 degrees Fahrenheit or higher uh, for this to form. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit here and just show you what we're talking about. And I will take it full screen so you can see what's uh, going on. Here is potential tropical cyclone 18. We have another tropical wave uh, that's moving west and uh, is expected to develop into another tropical system. I'll show you that here uh, shortly uh, when I go over to the models. I also want to show you uh, the sea surface uh, temperatures, sea surface temperature anomalies. Uh, this is uh, in the uh, Caribbean here, and we also have uh, the Gulf of Mexico. We have warmer temperatures, sea surface temperature anomalies now. Remember after Milton passed by and we had all that rain, these were cooler, but now they're warmer uh, sea surface temperatures and they have uh, gone up pretty dramatically. And this is the loop current in the Gulf of Mexico. This cold pool may play a role in the movement and the intensity of potential tropical cyclone 18. Now, if it does form, it will become uh, Raphael, tropical storm Raphael. So let me give you the stats uh, right now on this uh, uh, PTC 18. Location 13.0 north, 77.1 west, about 515 miles south southeast of Grand Cayman Island. Max winds 35 miles per hour. It's moving right now to the northeast at 7 miles per hour and a pressure relatively uh, low uh, because of the pressures around it, 1,004 millibars. Uh, that's not bad right now, but certainly it's forecast to go down. Now, as we look at the sea surface temperature anomalies here, once again, you can see the Caribbean is warm, only slight patches of cooler, uh, maybe a degree Celsius cooler uh, than average, uh, but most of the Caribbean is uh, packed full of warm ocean heat content, lots of ocean heat content for the system, which is developing in this area here, which sea surface temperatures are about normal to a bit above uh, normal. And here is Jamaica and also uh, Grand Cayman Island. So what I want to do is I want to show you GeoCollaborate and uh, where this uh, system is forecast to move. This is the four o'clock advisory from the National Hurricane Center. I'll zoom out just a little bit so you can see where it's been and uh, also where it is forecast to head. So it's currently here. It's expected to move to the begin moving to the north northwest and it looks like it's beyond uh, where that forecast was right here. It sort of dipped down to the south. Now maybe just a slight loop uh, as it starts to head uh, to the northeast and then to the north and then northwest. But notice, as it gets close uh, to Jamaica, uh, there is an advisory that has been issued. Uh, the government of uh, Jamaica has issued a tropical storm warning uh, for the island. And so that means they expect tropical storm force winds uh, in the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. The official forecast from the National Hurricane Center valid at 1 a.m. Uh, on Monday or on Tuesday morning is for it to be a 60 mile per hour tropical storm. 
60 mile per hour tropical storm. And if Jamaica is on the right hand side of this uh, developing system, uh, they will have not only winds, but a lot of rain and potentially uh, some storm surge as well. And uh, here are the Grand Cayman Islands. Uh, the government of the Grand Cayman Islands has issued a hurricane watch, a hurricane watch because uh, while it's forecast to be a tropical storm at this point, 70 mile per hour tropical storm Raphael, and that is by uh, Tuesday afternoon, one o'clock Eastern time, uh, wind gusts could well exceed hurricane force and we could have more intensification between Jamaica and the Grand Cayman Islands, which is why uh, the government of the Grand Cayman, uh, Cayman Islands has issued a hurricane watch. Now, if we move a little bit further uh, towards Cuba and to the northwest, uh, uh, the forecast here is for, uh, let me take that uh, legend off there for the sea surface temperature anomalies. Forecast is to be 80 mile per hour category one hurricane prior to landfall in Western Cuba. So this would be tropical storm Raphael at this point on Wednesday at 1 a.m. This is Wednesday at 1 a.m. By uh, Wednesday at 1 p.m., we're looking at a hurricane, 75 mile per hour hurricane, not intensifying much at all because of the interaction with land. And then this, the National Hurricane Center in its official forecast here has the storm weakening back down to a tropical storm. Now, there's a lot of uncertainty here uh, because some of the models take this up to a hurricane and uh, a little bit higher into the category two area uh, and others weaken it to a tropical storm. There is a strong area of low pressure that's giving severe weather to Oklahoma as we speak, and that's going to be moving to the east. And it looks like it might be influencing uh, this system and may, might try to pick it up. So you can see this cone of uncertainty means there's quite a bit of error in uh, that long-term forecast from the National Hurricane Center. So we're going to have to pay very, very close attention uh, to this as time goes on. And so what I'd like to do is show you uh, at least the GFS model and what the GFS model shows. This is uh, from this morning's uh, 12Z run, and uh, this is valid uh, this afternoon right about now. Uh, this is the forecast hour, the six hour forecast. But let me take this on into the future and show you what it looks like here. So here uh, is what will become Tropical Storm Raphael uh, approaching Jamaica. And uh, as it does that, notice all of the moisture in this area, a lot of moisture around. So there's going to be, it's going to be very rainy uh, throughout uh, Hispaniola and also Cuba and Jamaica and also the Cayman Islands. This is a very moist system, lots of moisture around it. So as we take this on into the future, and it looks like it's following the official forecast of the Hurricane Center, Hurricane Center uses the GFS operationally, uh, you can see by Wednesday afternoon uh, at 18Z, that's about one o'clock in the afternoon, uh, we have uh, Tropical Storm Raphael or perhaps Hurricane Raphael uh, off the west coast of Florida and uh, not too far off the west coast of Florida. So those winds will generate some form of storm surge in southwest Florida and perhaps along the west coast of Florida. Now, the current trajectory or forecast of this particular storm is different. Uh, than what Helene took and also what Milton took. Milton was a perpendicular strike. Helene came right up uh, parallel to the coastline, hitting uh, in the uh, Big Bend area of Florida. So this one will be moving this way, getting further away from Florida. At least that's the current forecast uh, from the National Hurricane Center. See, I'll remind you at uh, GeoCollaborate here, full screen, the trajectory is going away from Florida here, so the winds will be less uh, coming in to the coastline, which means obviously less of a storm surge threat. We'll be watching this very closely because some models keep it closer to the coastline, others take it a little bit further to the west, uh, and then uh, inland 
in certain areas between, I'd say, central Louisiana and the Florida Peninsula. So this is the National Hurricane Center's Advisory 1 forecast uh, for potential tropical cyclone 18, which could become and is forecast to become Tropical Storm Raphael and then Hurricane Raphael becoming a Category 1 hurricane and then weakening back down into Tropical Storm status. I'm going to take you back to the satellite loop here for a moment uh, because I want to move a little bit further uh, to the north along the Gulf Coast. And you can see that trough of low pressure and those thunderstorms that are kicking off right now. Multiple severe thunderstorm warnings are in effect around Oklahoma City uh, and places to the south and southeast. And there are also uh, quite a bit of uh, flood warnings as well. And there are some tornado warnings in effect in Oklahoma as well. As a matter of fact, one heading towards Oklahoma City and one heading towards Norman. So uh, this is going to be too late for you to take cover uh, by the time this gets uploaded to YouTube. I hope you're paying attention to your local weather service forecast office and your local broadcast meteorologist. But what I want to point out is look at this tongue of moisture here. We can see it in the clouds. There's strong high pressure over the mid-Atlantic states. You can see it pushing a lot of wind to the east coast of Florida where there are Coastal flood advisories and also rip current advisories have been in effect there for weeks because of the persistent east to northeasterly wind. But look how this wind turns around the backside and gets pulled up into this trough. As a matter of fact, I can add a sector in here called the blended uh, total precipitable water. And I'm going to turn that on here while this uh, loads during this loop. And you can see what's going on. So I'm going to zoom in. Whoop, I'm going to zoom in here, right in here to the Gulf of Mexico. And look at this tongue of moisture coming up. We can see in the satellite imagery. This is total precipitable water. And that is headed right to the southeast Texas coast and into southwest Louisiana, where uh, precipitation is intense. Uh, as this frontal system moves through. So widespread flash flooding is likely in southeastern Texas and also up into uh, parts of Louisiana. This is nothing to do with potential tropical cyclone 18. That is well to the, to the southeast here over the Caribbean. And you can see that right in here. So I'm going to turn that precipitable uh, water uh, off uh, because I want to just focus in, and I'll turn the sea surface temperatures off, focus in on this potential tropical cyclone here. It looks quite mature already as a tropical depression, and uh, we expect it to become a tropical storm uh, within the next 6 to 12 hours. So that's it for this update. I'm Dave Jones with Storm Center Communications and Geo Collaborate. We'll be monitoring this very closely as PTC 18 looks to become Tropical Storm Raphael and move towards Jamaica and then towards Grand Cayman Island and the Caymans and then towards Western Cuba. We have plenty of time to talk about this system and to talk about the model forecasts, but the most important one is the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center. They take in all the model ensemble forecasts. They take in all of the individual model forecasts, put it into their expertise and their own brains and come out with the official forecast. That's why I don't show a ton of different models uh, because the Hurricane Center takes all of them into consideration. So uh, next update here will be uh, during the day tomorrow if conditions warrant and this goes into some sort of rapid intensification mode uh, later this evening or uh, later tonight. Uh, I'll be back with an update. But the next update scheduled for tomorrow uh, will be around between 12 and uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. This update has been for the All Hazards Consortium Sensitive Information Sharing Environment. We'll be uploading this to the SICE Hub and also sharing it out through the Signal app. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care of yourself and watch out for your neighbors.